Hi friends, happy Wind Down Wednesday. I'm so glad you're here with us this evening. Find someplace cozy to sit and we will get started. This week, I had the most amazing experience going to a museum with some students. We went to a museum called the Delaware Museum of Nature and Science. It was so awesome exploring this museum. And one part of the museum that was especially cool was um, the exhibit where we got to see dinosaur bones, which got me thinking about what Wind Down Wednesday book I would read this week. And then I thought about one of the books that I loved so much when I was in elementary school. And I had the grown-ups in my life read this story to me over and over and over again. Give a connection wiggle if there's some books in your life that you love um, hearing over and over again. The story we're going to listen to this evening is called If the Dinosaurs Came Back by Bernard Most. If the Dinosaurs Came Back, written and illustrated by Bernard Most. A letter from Bernard Most. Dear reader, if the dinosaurs came back, they would thank you for reading my books. When my son Glenn was in first grade, he wrote that he wished the dinosaurs would come back. That gave me the idea for my book. Your friend, Bernard Most. I like dinosaurs. I think about them all the time. I read about them. I talk about them. Oh, how I wish the dinosaurs could come back. Raise your hand or put your thumb up if you wish the dinosaurs could come back. If the dinosaurs came back, they could carry people to work and back. How many people are on this dinosaur? You can pause the video and count. If the dinosaurs came back, we wouldn't need any more lawnmowers. Here we can see the purple dinosaur eating all the grass. If the dinosaurs came back, house painters wouldn't need any more ladders. We can see the painter climbed right up the back of the dinosaur. If the dinosaurs came back, they would scare away robbers. If the dinosaurs came back, they would make it easy for farmers to plow their fields. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help lumberjacks chop down trees. Look at all those teeth. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help firefighters put out fires. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help build big skyscrapers. Remember, skyscrapers are big buildings. We normally see them in cities. If the dinosaurs came back, they would make great ski slopes. Give a connection wiggle if you've ever been skiing or snowboarding. Touch your head if you want to try it one day. Oh. Let me put my glasses on. It's getting a little sunny on this page. If the dinosaurs came back, they could take swimmers on rides at the beach. If the dinosaurs came back, they could rescue kites stuck in very tall trees. Touch your shoulder if you've ever flown a kite. If the dinosaurs came back, mountain climbers would have new mountains to climb. If the dinosaurs came back, they could be a big help at the circus. Here we can see two trapeze artists swinging. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help librarians 
get books from the top shelf. If the dinosaurs came back, dentists would have plenty of teeth to work on. Oh my goodness, look at him working on all of the teeth of this big orange dinosaur. If the dinosaurs came back, giraffes would have someone to look up to. Giraffes are so tall. If the dinosaurs come back or came back, they could push away rain clouds so the sun would always shine. But best of all, if the dinosaurs came back, they would make great pets for people who love dinosaurs. If the dinosaurs came back, would you want one as a pet? Why? What would you do with it? The end. I loved reading this story with you this evening, and I can't wait to see you at next Wine Down Wednesday. Good night.